One of the questions that we keep getting asked a lot and which is very important question is how is applied AI course different from other courses? Other courses on uh, on on Coursera, Udacity, uh, Udemy, all these are on MIT Open Courseware, right? So all these are courses. Uh, there are a lot of courses on YouTube, by the way. All these are online courses, and they're of course university courses. If if it's if you're a student at a university, your your university most likely offers a course in AI or machine learning or data mining, etc. So one of the questions that we keep getting asked a lot, which is I think again to reiterate, it's very important, is how is AIC different from other courses? Let me go over a few differences. Uh, before we get started, I think we are standing on the shoulders of giants. We are standing on the shoulders of, um, I just wanted to put it up front. Uh, we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, Coursera as Andrew Ng um, and a lot of great professors, both at universities and at companies. So we are just extending. We are standing on the shoulders of these giants who have built these courses and they are a primary source of inspiration. So all that we are trying to do is we are trying to push what they have done slightly further by, by making it more accessible to everybody. So as compared to other courses, we believe our course is super accessible. By accessibility, I mean anybody, anybody with, with, with time to spend, with interest in machine learning and AI can learn. And hence, we have no prerequisites whatsoever. We have no prerequisites whatsoever, including programming. We teach Python programming from scratch. Of course, knowing some programming language is certainly helpful, but we made the course super accessible to anybody. An average student or even a below average student in some cases, if he or she is willing to spend five to 10 hours a week, five to 10 hours a week for three to six months. Of course, different people have different rates of learning, different aptitude and things like that. But anybody, even a below average student, if they're willing to spend five to 10 hours a week for about three to six months, they should be able to learn the fundamentals of applying artificial intelligence. So the only prerequisite is effort. Of course, no, none of us can, can replace that, right? So we made our course super accessible with no prerequisites. The only prerequisite is effort and hard work from your side. And we also made it extremely simple. We, we, we take a lot of pride in the fact that we have simplified lot of dense mathematical concepts without watering them down. Of course, I'm not telling you that we cover everything. We teach you everything in probability, everything in statistics, everything in optimization. We don't do that. It's impossible for somebody to cover all of these topics on which people spend years learning. But we cover all the necessary and basic things to get you to get you started in machine learning, to, to make you build models. So I think our course is super accessible because it has no prerequisites except for effort that you have to put in. And it's extremely simple. We make very, very complex mathematical concepts extremely simple. And the other, the other direction or the other angle in which we are different from other courses is we typically see courses which are very theoretical, which cover a lot of mathematical rigor without focusing on the applied aspects of machine learning and AI. Or we look at very programmatic courses. So uh, we have seen, so typically universities fall in this category or when university professors teach, the courses become very, very theoretical because that's how they typically teach because universities are supposed to do fundamental research and these professors most likely would do fundamental research and hence they are more leaning. So most of university courses and courses taught by university professors are more theoretically very deep. They don't focus too much on the programmatic or the applied aspects. While courses that are taught by actual data scientists or, or practitioners as they're called, right? by practitioners are very programming intensive. They typically do whole of your data science in Python or R. They give a lot of importance to the programmatic or the applied aspect without covering enough theory. So what we try to do is we try and find a balance. We cover sufficient or necessary theory, all the theory that you need to get without doing the depth that a university or a university professor would do. At the same time, we cover all the applied aspects. We try to find a balance. And I think this is something which is extremely, which is very unique with our approach of trying to trying to teach or trying to trying to help solve AI problems, right? So we try to find a fine balance between the theory and the programmatic or the applied aspects. We try not to take any of the sides. We try to find the right balance. 
The other important thing is our course content is very, very wide. Our content breadth, our content breadth is, is very, very wide. We cover everything from basics of probability, stats, um, linear algebra, all the stuff that are needed for machine learning, basics of what optimization is, even some basic of calculus, right? We cover things like, okay, what does, what does derivative of a function mean geometrically? Right. And we cover about 20 plus most used machine learning techniques from our from our personal experiences. So the breadth that we cover is massive. And for every problem you learn or for every technique you learn, uh, you learn all the all the variations of it. You understand where they're failing. You understand how to get rid of how to get how to how to find workarounds, how to get rid of problems, uh, especially when you're stuck in machine learning and things like that. So I think our content breadth is one of one of the large, one of the widest. So this course covers a wide spectrum of topics and to the best of our knowledge, it is one of the widest, uh, widest contents or the, the content breadth is massive uh, as compared to other courses that we have come across both online and in universities. Typically the content in this course is covered over two to three courses typically. And of course we take, we take extreme pride in our customer service. Uh, I, I do know that there are some online courses today that are providing customer service to paid customers. We try, our, our course is of course paid, but we try to give a phenomenal customer service. Uh, that's again, lessons learned from my previous experience at Amazon, which is an extremely customer obsessed, customer centric company. We are taking those learnings from our previous experiences and we want to build a terrific customer service company. And this is something that we value a lot, which is one of our unique value propositions. The other very important thing that we help our our, our, uh, our course participants do is we help them build a portfolio. A portfolio is basically uh, five plus real world problems, five plus real world problems that our course participants will solve on their own at the end of the course. And they basically build a, build a web page for themselves showcasing their work. So this could be project one, project two, so on and so forth. Five case studies, five real world problems being solved end to end. From, from at least our personal experience of hiring and interviewing lots of lots of machine learning scientists for tier one companies, we believe portfolios add a lot of value, especially when you're interviewing or when you're considering interviewing for, for various data science and machine learning roles. So portfolios are, are a great place to showcase the work that you have done. And we help all of our AI course participants um, build a portfolio with at least five problems. We strongly recommend you build the more problems, the better. We strongly recommend you build at least five problem, uh, solutions to five problems. And we'll help you through this process of building a real world portfolio, which is, we hope to help all of you build really, really world-class portfolios. To find about more portfolios that we have helped some of our, some of our current students build, please go to our website. You'll find a lot of details about some of the portfolios that we have helped our customers build. I also strongly recommend that instead of me blabbering about or instead of me just praising about some of the things that we are trying to achieve, I strongly recommend you go to our YouTube channel or even to our website to see some of our videos to, to understand how, how, how simply we explain how much simplification we can achieve in some of the very, very interesting concepts like hyperplanes, hypercuboids, uh, about central limit theorem, all these very, very interesting mathematical concepts. There are a lot of videos which are, which are up for free which anybody can just simply sign in using your Google or Facebook or email credentials and get access to. There are a lot of free, uh, free videos, which I strongly recommend you go through so as to, so as to uh, witness how, how, how much simplification we have done uh, instead of me just talking about it. So these are some of the most important differentiations of how our differentiating factors on how AIC is different from other courses, both online or at universities. So yeah, hope, hope, hope you visit our site, see some of what we are claiming here and hope we can, we can, we can serve you well.